so late March, I was in a car accident. <clears throat> I was on the highway and it was a great, a beautiful day. So there was no rain or anything like that, but there was a, one of those really quick backups on the highway and I was too close to the car in front of me and I ran into their back right bumper. So the front left of my vehicle was smushed and the back rear or right bumper or the front left of my car and the back right of his car, a Mercedes, I believe it was. Anyway, it got mushed. So my car was totaled and I was, nothing was broken for me. I was pretty battered. I had bruising all over my chest, my hips, my knees, my, I hit my head. And so, but I was able to walk. I didn't have any, anything broken. So, um, we're, no, we're, okay. So my husband, um, uh, met me on the highway cause I decided not, not to go by ambulance to the emergency room, but we wanted to make sure I was okay. Cause I did black out and I was in a lot of pain with my knees, especially in my chest. So my husband took me to the hospital and I was there for several hours and had some initial x-rays and a CT scan of my neck and head and everything was fine. I, they released me that night at around eight and I got home. And this is the part where you don't know where you're not informed and I, this is the part where I want you to know what happened. The next day I was felt great but in the evening right after dinner I, I felt um, really constipated. I won't go into any more detail I promise <laughs> with that. So um, in the in after midnight I decided to take something to help me find some comfort and I got really really sick all night long until the wee hours of the morning. And you can just use your imagination on what happened. Um, so I finally got to bed at around 5.30 in the morning and then a couple of hours later I got up and there was bleeding from my nether regions. And again, I won't go into detail. So I called my doctor and made a telemed or made an appointment, but they said, go to the emergency room. So I went to the emergency room and they did a CT scan of my abdomen and the findings, with the findings, they admitted me. So what they found was a couple of areas in my colon that were of concern. And so they wanted to do a colonoscopy to see what was going on inside and they also found a complex mass in my uter in my uh, ovary so we we had some things going on inside me that i had no idea was happening to me i mean i i haven't had no symptoms whatsoever until that monday morning and then it got scary real quick so uh, a couple of days after being treated with iv antibiotics and I had uh, was extremely low on potassium and things like that, so I was on a lot of IV bags for several days, and they they um, I did the colonoscopy and they found uh, they biop took biopsies, and so I went um, probably two weeks waiting to hear what was going on with my colon and the report from the colonoscopy was not good. It was scary. Thankfully, the biopsies showed no cancer or precancerous abnormalities. It, I was diagnosed with ischemic colitis and they also ruled out Crohn's disease and also ulcerative colitis. So as you can imagine, I've been through a lot. Um, these last month or so. Uh, now with my the mass in my ovary, my um, th there's um, some concern for 
ovarian cancer. We're not sure. We're, we're cautiously optimistic because my numbers are elevated, but they're not really high. They're just slightly elevated. So in an abundance of caution, I am being seen by an, a gynecologic oncologist. And I feel great. I don't have any symptoms, so that's good news. Um, and we won't know anything until after the surgery and the pathology as to what, what the mass is, but it is complex and it's large. So I'm going to be having a lot of uh, tests done, really two days, but they're gonna be packed with different tests. So I'm gonna be having tests done before my surgery, which is going to be in June 6th. And June 6th, that's when I'm going to be having the surgery where they're gonna remove my ovaries. And then of course, I'll have a couple of weeks of recovery, which is when I'm not probably going to be online or on the computer much at all. I'll probably be resting in bed or something like that. Um, so, and again, um, during the surgery, they're gonna try to do it robotically, but they may also need to open me up, in which case I'll be admitted over you know for several days and the recovery will be longer so it could be anywhere from two weeks recovery period to 12 weeks recovery period depending on what happens with the surgery so that's what's happening with me on top of all this two days before my accident my husband also has a, a health concern and he is having surgery on May 19th. So I will be taking care of him on May 19th and the week or so after. And then of course, right after that, he'll be caring for me. So oh, we have a lot going on in our lives right now. And so I just ask you for your patience. And if you pray, please pray for us and, and send good thoughts our way, if you will. Thank you very much. And that, that's all I really have to share right now. So um, thank you for, for listening and for caring. A lot of people have uh, rallied to support us and so we're just very grateful. Thank you, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. And um, I think um, I'll just be, what I'm thinking about doing is maybe doing some kind of updates to keep you all posted as to what's going on because I you mean a lot to me all of you do and so I um, consider you my friends and so I just want you to know what's going on and how things are going and I'll figure out the best way to do that and without being obtrusive, especially for those who don't, who aren't interested in, in my personal life. You know, I try to keep things professional, but um, these things that are happening right now are, are critical. So they're, they may be affecting my ability to work. So anyhow, yeah, Kathy, that, that is exactly what we're thinking because I had no idea that things were going on inside. No idea whatsoever. <laughs>